ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಈವ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ದಿಯರ್ ಬ್ರದರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕ್ರೈಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಅವರ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಆಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಆಪರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಟು ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಇಸ್ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಸೊ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ವೀಕ್ ವಿ ಸ್ಟಡೀಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಜೀಸಸ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಸಾ ಹೌ ಜೀಸಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಕವರ್ಡ್ ವಾಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ವೈ ಜೀಸಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಸಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ವಾಟ್ ಡಸ್ ದ ಬೈಬಲ್ ಸೇ ಹೌ ಜೀಸಸ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈ ಜೀಸಸ್ does it mean that jesus is going to return the spiritual body and everybody can see that spiritual jesus will be in the sky a literal sky where everybody can see him and he will he rule from there for a period of 1000 years <clears throat> we saw that now the jesus return is going to be a, a spiritual a body return but it's not a physical return that means that jesus is going to return in a, as a spirit being the divine nature is in a divine nature the highest of all the natures a nature which god himself is having <clears throat> but he is not going to be visible but he is going to be invisible so that's what we saw last time and that is the reason that uh, uh, jesus gave the signs <clears throat> therefore today we are going to see the date uh, of uh, the second coming so we saw <clears throat> matthew 243 uh, disciples came and asked the question to the lord saying uh what shall be the sign of thy presence you see sign they did not ask uh, how your second coming will happen please tell if that was the question and if really that was the answer jesus could have clearly told why are you worried uh, please keep your eyes uh, uh, straight on heaven uh, keep please keep on watching the sky as i went i will return like that only but jesus never said that one but instead of that one, he gave the list of the signs <clears throat> that i mentioned in matthew 24 chapter and one of the signs jesus said was uh, in matthew 24 that uh, he shall be like a b- <clears throat> you see a bright shining shining from the east to west so which is the bright shining that is going to shine from east to west uh, we see that is our lord uh, jesus christ uh, as a son <clears throat> he returns at the second advent so does the bible say about uh, uh, sun you see the uh, anywhere in the bible is jesus compared to the sun in the bible yes jesus is compared to the sun in malachi 42 so jesus <clears throat> you see at second advent is going to come like a sun so he is going to arise with healing in his wings and as the sun rises slowly similarly jesus uh, uh, you see the presence will be made you see understood by all not uh, once for all but uh, slowly you see uh, as we saw we also saw that uh, uh, the sun the rising of the sun has three stages uh, early in the morning and morning and uh, you say afternoon so similarly there are three greek words uh, used for, for the uh, coming of a lord so actually that word uh, is not coming at all that word the first word used is parousia the meaning of parousia is presence so we saw <clears throat> that uh, reference is given in the bible itself uh, where it says uh, as it was in the days of noah so shall be it in the days of the son of man so during the days of noah as noah was present similarly during the days of uh, our lord the lord should be present so we saw <clears throat> some of the signs in matthew 24 chapter about uh, list of the signs uh, false uh, christ shall come you see doing false miracles that is happening before our eyes wars and rumors of wars that also we can see in our eyes nation rising against nation kingdom against kingdom you see <clears throat> that also we seeing and famines pestilences earthquakes you see and uh, you see floods uh, these are all become a very common news for uh, you see everyday life uh, and uh, uh, lawlessness uh, <clears throat> and a lot of sin happening in the world so and uh, these are the signs uh, and uh, one of the signs which we saw uh, was in book of uh, daniel uh, what's up brother can you tell me what was the sign we saw in book of daniel uh, in the book of daniel hmm. uh, we we saw the sign mm, mm-hmm. 
we did last uh, last week, right? Mm. Actually, at last. You can read from the verse, Daniel 12, 4. Okay. Mm. Yeah, okay. Daniel 12, 4 is written like this. But though O Daniel sought up the words and sealed the book, even to the time of the end, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. See, we saw many shall run to and fro, knowledge shall increase. Increase. Ah, yeah, so, we saw that. Uh, what is the meaning of many shall run to and fro? Uh, here in India. Okay. So how does it fulfill today? Uh, by the transportation. Very good. So transportation. Huh? Yeah. So earlier, the man used to travel in his entire life, not more than 100 kilometers, we can say. But today, you see, in one day, even in one hour, I can completely cover 100 kilometers. That's the speed of man today. Okay. And uh, knowledge shall increase means what, brother? Uh, mean human are being intelligent than before. Uh, human are more intelligent than before. Examples? Before. Any increase in knowledge example? Can you give me? Uh, they build uh, before they build a mobile like a device uh, huge mm. device, right? Now mm. they build a mobile phone uh, and tiny device and everything we can install, every apps, the machine, which were covered before, all are included in one tiny object. So yes. I think... Very good. So that is one of the beautiful sign, uh, invention of the Android mobiles. Uh, you see, in coming days, even the mobile won't be there, you see. There's going to be only, you see, the hand, you can see the mobile in the hand itself. Uh, so that technology... This is already being developed. So these are the signs of what? This is signs for what, brother? Lord's uh, second coming. Second coming. Ah, uh, no. Uh, it's a sign. It's a sign of the end. Uh, sign of yes. the end. That Jesus is the going to come or already come. He already came. Already came. Came. Very good. So, this is the signs for his presence. That's the word parosha. <clears throat> it means. So, we also saw, you see, that uh, all the things which are in secret shall come to light. So, these are the one of the signs. You see, many drugs, scandals, theft, uh, all the things, corruption which they did in many, many years before are all brought to daylight. <clears throat> you see? So, this is what uh, we studied, that how uh, Jesus uh, is going to return, we saw. And why he is going to return, you see, we saw, isn't it? So, how Jesus is going to return? He is not going to return huh? as a spiritual body, so that everybody can see. He is going to return in a spiritual body, but invisible, you see. So, to recognize the invisible Lord, we need the signs. That is the reason the signs are given. Then we also saw why Jesus is going to return. Because to establish his kingdom and to resurrect all the dead and give them the knowledge of truth. But today we are going to see when did Jesus return. If he has returned, then why did he return? There should be some date. No? If we tell that something has come back, then surely there must be some data. So how do we study it? You see, huh? what does the Bible say? You see, let us read Job uh, 24 1, brother. Job 24 1, brother. Uh, Job 24 1, okay. Why seeing times are not hidden from the Almighty? Do they that know Him not see these days? Uh, see, the times are not hidden from the Almighty. You see, and do they that know him not see his days? That means this is the clue that uh, definitely God knows the time, and this shall be revealed to his faithful. Uh, you see, once uh, eh? read the Proverbs 25 2, brother. 
Proverbs twenty five two. Okay, brother. Yeah, yeah. Let none that wait on the on the be assembled. Let them be assembled with no. transgressors. No, no. Proverbs. Ah, oh, proverb. Sorry, brother. Twenty five two. Uh, it is the glory of God to conquer a things, but the honor of kings is to sort out a matter. See, it is the glory of the God to conceal a thing. But the honor of the kings to search out the matrix himself, what God has concealed. Now, who are these kings? Sir? See, God has hidden secretly in the Bible, isn't it? But uh, who are the kings that he needs to open? The church are going to reign with Christ are called as kings. Isn't it? We are called to be kings and priests with Christ. Uh, they ruled uh, with Christ for a thousand years. That means the kings. Uh, where should we search this one? Where is it concealed? Where is it hidden? It is hidden. It is hidden in the Bible. Now how do we open it? Uh? Isaiah 34, 16. It says, no. search the scriptures. Read, brother. Isaiah 34, 16. Okay, brother. I seek you out of the book of the Lord ah. and read. Read. No one, yeah. Man no one shall... of this shall fail. Mm -hmm. None shall want her mate. For my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. See? Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. None shall fail. That means regarding the second coming days, we need to search for the scriptures. So, uh, in searching the scriptures, we are going to consider three important, uh, you see, aspects. First thing, by studying the dates of the second coming, we are going to consider the prophecies. Next, uh, the time prophecies. Next, uh, the Bible chronology. Okay, not our own prophecies, the Bible prophecies. And there are time prophecies also in the Bible. You see, the Bible says about so much of times and all. What time prophecies uh, does the Bible speak about a lot's uh, second advent? Uh, you see, and the Bible chronology. See, the Bible speaks about Jesus' first advent. Uh, so similarly, second advent also should be given somewhere in the Bible. Uh, so we will study these three in order. First thing, let us study the prophecy. Where, the, where does the Bible say about prophecy of second coming? Daniel 2.44, brother. Uh. Daniel 2.44. Okay, it's written here, Daniel 2.44. Uh, in, in the days of the, these kings, shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all this kingdom, and it shall stand forever. Very good. See? What does it say? In the days of this king. Which king? The days of the four universal empire. You see, the head of gold, you see, and uh, hands uh, and shoulders of, uh, you see, silver and uh, thigh of brass, and legs of iron. In the days of these kings, uh, when these kings are ruling, what does the Bible say? The God of heaven shall set up a kingdom. That is the stone that is going to come and hit. We shall destroy all these kingdoms. And it shall consume, but it will stand forever. We are living in those days. Jesus has returned and is kept on pounding all the nations. Hence, you can see, when the image has been pounded, what happened? First, it breaks. That structure breaks. Then, the stone begins to pound it so big, big pieces will, may, will be made small pieces. Sir. The Bible says it will be made like a threshing floor. And a wind would come and blow it. That means entire nations of this world, all the nations of this world, 
shall be made powerless. That is what we can see today. Jesus is making all the nations powerless. He is pounding it one upon the other, one upon the other, one upon the other. This is a beautiful prophecy saying, when these kings are ruling itself, Jesus will start to establish his kingdom. Not that this will end next day, Jesus' kingdom will start. No, in the days of this king, then read one more prophecy, Luke 21, 24, brother. Luke 21, 24. Okay, brother. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be thrown down of the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. See, Luke 21 24 says, Israel, they, and they shall fall by the edge of the sword, means Israel shall fall by the edge of the sword. And they shall be taken captive into all the nations. You see, and Jerusalem shall be trodden down. Not uh, the people of Israel, but it says Jerusalem, the land of Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles. Till what time? It says, till the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. So this one we saw, and we uh, will go to study in the coming days also. But this was fulfilled when the Jewish people rejected Christ. You see, they were uh, scattered into all the nations of the world. They were uh, completely, you see, driven away from their uh, holy land. They had to struggle uh, all the places. Very uh, difficult situation was there for them. What does the Bible say? It says, you see, Jerusalem shall be trodden down by Gentiles. The land of uh, Israel, what uh, they are dwelling today. It was under the control of the Gentiles. Because Jewish people were not there at all. So the entire Gentile people were uh, uh, controlling it. The Bible says this shall continue till the uh, end of the Gentile times. That means Gentiles were given a particular time to rule on this world. So even till that uh, time gets over, what will happen? Uh, Jerusalem shall not get freedom. But uh, today we see Israel has got freedom. When? Do you know when Israel has got freedom, brother? Any idea? Maybe 19, 1947. 1948. May 14, uh, 1948. Okay. Uh, so today we can see in Israel there is a lot of uh, war. Correct, no? Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. This is there in the Bible prophecy. In the coming classes we'll see. Okay. But uh, see, this is a prophecy. Eh? What prophecy? Huh? The Gentile uh, kings shall rule. Babylon ruled. Medo Persia ruled. Greek ruled. Roman Empire. We are living in the last portion of the Roman Empire, the British Empire. Isn't it? So, this is a, a prophecy. Now, we will come to time prophecy about Jesus' uh, huh? second advent. Now, where is it? Uh, time prophecy given? If you see, it is given in the book of uh, Daniel, 12th chapter. You see, Daniel is a special book because Daniel is the book which gives the time prophecy for Jesus' first advent as well as second advent. The first advent is given in Daniel 9 chapter. This one we will see in the coming days. But uh, the second coming date is given in Daniel 12 chapter. Let us read, brother. Daniel 12 chapter. Uh, read from verse 7, brother. Actually, uh, Daniel speaks about uh, our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, let us read verse 1 and then 7, brother. Hmm. Daniel 12, 1, brother. And at the time shall Michael stand up, the great prince who is strength, strength for the children of the people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. Ah. And at that time... See, what does he say? When Michael the prince... Uh, shall stand for thy people. Who is this Michael? Himself, Jesus. Jesus. When Jesus stands for Israel, Daniel's people, what will happen in the world? There should be a great time of trouble, which was not since the creation of this world. That is what we can see. Great trouble, brother. 
we did not see any such uh, war or any such attack have you heard about nuclear warfare uh, before uh, 100 200 years no suddenly all these things uh, so this is speaking about jesus sir uh, okay when jesus is going to stand in support for israel now continue reading verse 7 what happens uh, and i heard the men clothed in linen which was upon the water of the river when he hit hell of his right hand and his left and unto heaven i swore by him that live for he ever that shall be for a time time and times and a half and when he shall have accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people all these things shall be finished very good see here it says huh daniel was given a date it says you see it shall be for time times and half a times where the gods you see people's holy people's power shall be scattered and these things shall be fulfilled and they shall be given over for a period of time times and half a times now we have studied this one about times times and half a times already you see huh this is speaking about the great antichrist system right now the triple six we studied revelation book of revelation the same period is again appearing in the book of revelation okay this is speaking about the same period of time the great antichrist period from 539 to 1799 ad is a period of 1260 years or times time and half a times how see Daniel twelve seven tells about three and a half times. Correct, no brother? Yeah. Now that same period is mentioned in Book of Revelation in uh, days, in months, and in years as well. Let us read these verses, brother. Da- Revelation twelve six, brother. Ah, huh. first read Revelation twelve fourteen, then Revelation twelve six. Ah, uh, okay. Daniel, what seven verse? Twelve. It's written like this. No, no, no. Twelve chapter, fourteen verse first. Twelve, fourteen. Mm. Yes. Ah, uh, Revelation or Daniel, brother? Revelation. Ah, uh, okay. Just a moment. And and to the omen were given two wings. of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness into her place where she nursed for a time and times and half a time mm. from the face of the serpent see the same three and a half times that is mentioned in daniel is again mentioned in revelation 12 chapter we have studied revelation 12 chapter it is speaking about the great antichrist system how when the antichrist came into power the woman fled into the wilderness the church was no more recognized in the society at all she was totally isolated and there was for a period of 1260 you see ha huh? days the same period i see it's given in number of years ha huh? now let us read the same period in the number of days uh, revelation 12 six brother ha huh? and the woman fled into the wilderness where she had a place prepared of god that this will feed her 3200 and 3 scores days see how much uh? 1260 days correct na 1203 score means one score means 20 3 score means 60 so 1260 days the same it is again given in months in revelation 13 5 13 5 and there was given of given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies and power was given unto him to continue 40 and 4 months mm, 40 and 2 months correct yeah 40 and 2 months 40 and 2 months 42 months so all this is uh, speaking about the same period how see see the calculation brother everything is the same if you convert it in days convert it to months convert it to years it's the same 1260 days divided by 42 months how much you will get uh, you will get 
30 days per month. Okay. Now the same 30 days into multiply 12 months, how many days you will get in a year? 360. Very good. 360. That's a biblical calendar. 360 days in a year. But now in our calendar, it is 365 and a quarter day. Okay. Because our calendar is not a biblical calendar. Ours is a, you see, solar calendar. Okay. Na? Yeah. So yeah. now, 360 days in a year into three and a half years, you multiply and see, it comes to 1,260 days. Mm. So, what does it mean? It means, you see, all these things are speaking of the same period in different, different angle. One is speaking uh, in a year, uh, you see, one is speaking in months, one is speaking in days. Uh. No, Revelation book is a prophecy. Daniel book is a prophecy. So for a prophet, one day means how many years we need to study from the Bible. Let us see. Ezekiel 4 6. Read by Ezekiel 4 6. Ezekiel 4 6 was. Okay, brother. Yes. Okay. Hmm. And when do that accomplish them lie again on the right side and the shall be at the iniquity of the house of Judah 40 days? I have appointed the each day of a year. Mm, each day for a year. That means Ezekiel was supposed to lie down with only one side, Buddha. For how many days? 40 days. You see? What does it mean? It means if you are sleeping on one side, for one day, it means one year. 40 days means 40 years. So for a prophet, one day is equal to one year. So you tell me, 1260 days or times, times and half a times, three and a half years or three and a half times means what? Actually, it means 1260 years. 1260 days. So, one day means one year. So, 1260 days is, is, is equal to 1260 years for a prophet. Okay, but I got it. Da. So, this was yeah, a period of Antichrist from 539 AD, the year when the mass was first conducted. From there till 1799 is a period of 1260 years. You can calculate and see. 1799, this is the date. That is given in Daniel 12, chapter 7th verse. Okay? Now, okay, let us see. This is a speaking of the Antichrist. So, Antichrist period is over. Okay? We have already studied. Uh, after this one, who, who should come? Jesus should come. So, second uh, coming we are studying. Antichrist is already over. 1799, uh, all, you see, uh, the Antichrist the civil power was completely taken off. All the kings in this world died. Now, Apart from this, there are two more dates that are given in Daniel 12 chapter. Read Daniel 12, 11, brother. Huh. And from the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away and the punishment that make desolate set up, there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. Ah, you see, it speaks about thousand two hundred days. But here it gives a clue. It says, uh, from the time a daily sacrifice is taken off, abomination that make a desolation set up, uh, it should be 1,290 days. What is this daily sacrifice that was taken off? What does it mean? If you see it, Abraham, you see, that is again speaking about the mass. You see, the mass that was conducted in the Catholic Church, you see, that was a compensation for the daily sacrifice. Because the people of Israel used to sacrifice daily to God, morning and evening sacrifices were there. But once Jesus, when he came and died on the cross, he put an end for all those sacrifices. Apart from that one, if you give any sacrifice that is not at all acceptable in the sight of God, you see, but even after the death of Jesus, you see, the Roman Catholic system or the great Antichrist system began to offer sacrifices to God. You see, how? 
by conducting the mass. You see, they began to claim that this is literal body of Jesus, this is literal blood, and they used to break it up. And claiming that Jesus has died for us, for our sins, again. And this was the abomination in the sight of God, because Jesus' sacrifice is a daily sacrifice. Daily means what? It is not necessary for the high priest to come and repeat the sacrifice as they were during in the days of Israel. This sacrifice, his sacrifice is once for all good for everything. Hence, his sacrifice is the daily sacrifice which need not to be repeated again and again. Read book of Hebrews. Book of Hebrews Uh, 9 chapter verse 25-26 brother. Huh. Not yet that he should offer himself often as the high priest enter into the holy place every year with blood of others. For then must he offer have suffered since the foundation of the world. Hmm. But now hmm. Yeah, but now, once in the end of the world that has he appeared to put away sin See? by the sacrifice of himself. Huh? If Jesus was supposed to repeat his sacrifices daily, then he should have done it uh, from the beginning of the world till now. But this one Jesus did once for all. So his sacrifice is not necessary to repeat it daily, brother. It is a daily sacrifice. His sacrifice itself is considered for all the days. Now, what does Daniel, uh, you see, huh? 12, 11 say, huh? from the day, you see, the daily sacrifice is taken away. The abomination that is set up is set up. From there, it will be 1,200 days. So, when did the uh, church take out the value for the Christ's daily sacrifice? It was none other than the Lord's Supper. When they conducted the Lord's Supper, the value of Jesus' ransom sacrifice was taken away. From there, it should be a period of 1,290 days, it seems. So, when did the Antichrist uh, come to power, if you see? Or when did the Antichrist conduct the Lord's uh, Supper, taking it uh, every now and then, whenever they want, daily, monthly, weekly, it started in 539 AD. Now, from 539 AD, I had 1290 days for that. How much you will get? Eighteen twenty-nine. Correct. Eighteen twenty-nine. So, for a prophet, one day is equal to one year. So, 1829 okay. days means 1829 years. From when? From 539 AD. You see, huh? from 539 AD, 1290 years will get us to 1829 AD. Got it, brother? So 1299 yeah, from the beginning of the mass or the, when the Antichrist came to power, it is 1829 years. Now, in 1829 AD, what happened? Why this date is given in the book of Daniel? Because a very, very important event happened in 1829, brother. It was the William Miller's movement. William Miller was a very zealous Christian. In 1829, he began to preach that Jesus is going to return the second coming and take all the Christians to heaven and he is going to establish his kingdom on the earth. Based on his teachings, many people left everything. They sold whatever they had. You see? And they gave and lent to the poor. And uh, he claimed that in 1844, a particular day, Jesus is going to come on the mount uh, and he's going to receive everybody. So everybody on that day went to the mountains with full white robes. And everybody was waiting. Jesus would come and take them. But Jesus never returned as they expected. So what happened? Uh, Many people got discouraged. They went into the world. They went back into the world. 
and to take back whatever the properties or amount they lent and gave to the poor. You see, so that was a very great awakening about the Lord's second advent. Because till then, not many people were aware about Jesus' second coming. Uh, Jesus is going to come. But uh, in the William Miller movement, the Christians were given a awakening call about the Lord's second advent. Uh, you see, they expected in 1844, Jesus never turned up. You see, this is given in the Bible itself. Where Matthew 25th chapter, brother, and 25th chapter, we know the parable of the 10 virgins. You see, the 10 virgins went to meet the Lord. Five of them were uh, foolish, five of them were wise. The difference between the wise and the foolish is the wise, they had the oil in the lamp as well as in the, you see, uh, vessel. But the foolish had the oil only in the lamp, but not in the vessel. Now, what happened? Let us see. Uh, mm. Matthew 25, 4, 5, 6. <clears throat> but the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps, while the bridegroom tread, they all slum slumbered and slept. Ah, underline brother. See, the purpose is that they all went to meet the bridegroom. Jesus had second advent. But what happened? The bridegroom? What happened? The bridegroom? Slept. Ah, Carried no, no. and they all slumbered and slept. Read verse 5. Carried. Bridegroom carried. Carried means what? Mm. Carried means he was supposed to come but did not come. Confused, right? Yes. He delayed his coming. Carried. He delayed. He was supposed to come. You see, what happened? He delayed. So, once Jesus did not come as they expected in 1844, what happened? What happened to the virgins? Huh? Read again, brother. Verse 5. Read again. Huh. While the bridegroom carried, they all slum slumbered and slept. Ah, underline. They all slumbered and slept. Slumbered and slept means what? They all slept nicely. They all went to the world. Slept in the world nicely. They forget about Jesus in coming. You see, but next, you know what happened? One more date is also given. What happened next? Continue, brother. Huh? And at midnight, there was a cry made. Behold, the bridegroom come. Go you out to the meet him. Ah, When was the cry, brother? Midnight. Midnight. So, what did they cry? Behold the? Go, uh, go out. Hmm. Go out uh, to meet? Him. That means bridegroom should have come or not? Uh? Mm. First time he missed. Uh, he tarried. Uh, but now he has come. Correct? Huh? Yeah. See? Yeah. At midnight... There was a cry saying, Behold the bridegroom. Behold the bridegroom is what? He is coming. Behold, see, here is the bridegroom. Everybody run out to meet him. He is come. Uh -huh. That is the important date. When was the date, brother? Midnight. Correct, no? Yes, brother, midnight. Now, why midnight is given? When will the day begin? When does the day begin? To well. 12 o'clock afternoon. 12 a.m. Day, a new day begins. Uh, if we look from the Hebrew calendar, it's from 6. Okay. Now, generally tell me, forget about the Hebrew calendar. Uh, 12 o'clock in the uh, afternoon or when? Day begins from 12 o'clock afternoon. Afternoon? Uh? <laughs> no. Morning. No. Huh? A.M. A.M. That is yeah. when? When do when do the people celebrate the new year? Midnight. Midnight. See? As soon as the clock sticks, 12 o'clock, everybody celebrate the new year. Midnight. That is the midnight Jesus came. That means what? It was the change of a day. That is the moment a day began to be changed. 
uh, old day was going and the new day was coming. That is the exact period Jesus returned back. Now, what is the date? Where is it given? That is given in Daniel 12. 12. Read with her. Daniel 12. 12. Read with her. Huh? We read Daniel 12, 11. Okay. Now read Daniel 12, 12. Huh? Uh, blessed Mosa is mother. he that waited. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, read, 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 read. Read, read. read Mosa mother. I. Okay. Blessed is he that wait and come to the thousand and three thousand and five, five and thirty days. Read correctly. <laughs> blessed is he that waited and come to the thousand, three thousand. Huh? And Read properly. Read uh, again. Come to the thousand three hundred. Sorry, sorry, uh, sorry. How did it become thousand suddenly? Yeah, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, thousand three hundred. Ah, uh. three hundred and ninety days. Huh? Oh, sorry, three hundred and five and thirty days. Arre, arre, arre. Mosamadara, concentrate. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> okay. So, 1335 days. Correct. Huh? Huh? Okay. Blessed is yeah. he who come out and waiteth. Waiteth and come out for 1335 days. What is the blessedness? That is the time that Jesus returned back. Blessed is he who waiteth like a wise virgin without going to sleep. Waiting for the Lord's second advent. That is 1,335 days. You know, again, for a prophet, 1,335 days means what? 1,335 years. For a prophet, one day is equal to one year. So, 1,335 years from when? From 539. You add 1,335 Where you'll, How much you will get, brother? 539 plus 1,335. plus 35, uh, 1874. Very good. 1874. 1874 is the year our Lord returned at his second advent. You know, that is the date of the Lord's second advent. Therefore, you see, in the book of Daniel, huh, there are three dates that are given. So that is the date, all beginning from the same period. The abomination that make it different from the setting of the Antichrist, 1260 years, 1290 years, 1335 years. You know, in 1874, you know what happened? Electric bulb was invented. The same year. Why? If you on the electric bulb, what you will get with her? Uh, lighter. Very good. Light. Now, who is the light of this world? Yes, Christ. Very good. Therefore, you know, when he returns, he brings light to this world. Read Revelation 18, 1, brother. Revelation 18, 1. Most of brother, read. Okay. Yeah, okay, brother. Revelation 18, 1. And after these things, I saw another angel, angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. The earth was lightened with light his glory. Angel, full power. Who is this? Huh? What did God say to Jesus? All power in heaven and earth is given. He returns with the same power. As soon as he comes to the earth, what happens? Huh? There is light. Light means what? Knowledge, intelligence. Therefore, Daniel 12, 4 said, Many shall run to and fro. Knowledge shall increase. It is because of the blessedness of the Lord's second coming that there is increase in knowledge in this world. Why have you gone to study in Japan? Knowledge. Knowledge is power. Therefore, you see, when Jesus returns, what happens? Uh, huh? Light has come. Therefore, see, these are three dates for that. Everything beginning from 539. 539, 1260, we we'll get the end of Antichrist period. 539 to 
1829 is 1,200 years, the Miller's movement. From 539, 1,335 years would bring to 1874, the year in which our Lord returned. So this is the one of the time prophecy. You see, other thing, other proof is the Bible chronology. I hope we have studied this class with you. We have taken this class to you, brother? No, 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 brother. No, okay. See, the Bible tells about a period from the creation of Adam till AD 1. Okay? The exact yeah. period is given in the Bible. We are going to study all these things in the coming days. Okay? No, not to worry. We'll just take summary. Okay? Not complete detail. Okay? Uh, it is divided into eight different divisions, brother. Okay, brother? I'll take a complete yeah, detail to you. Don't worry. Okay? Just uh, listen to the summary of it. Okay, brother? It will be divided into eight parts. Why? For the convenient of our calculation. That's all. You know, what is the first period? The first period is from the creation of Adam till the flood. That is a period of uh, 1,656 years. We know flood came in the days of Noah. But after flood, yeah. what happened? Again, after flood, the generation started. Abraham was selected. From the flood till Abraham is a period of 427 years. Then, when Abraham was selected, next what happened? The people of Israel, Isaac, Jacob was there. Then Joseph, we went to Egypt. They all were in Egypt uh, like a slaves. You see? Then they were delivered uh, from Egypt by the Passover. So from Abraham till the Passover or uh, the day Israel came out of Egypt is 430 years. Now after Israel came out of Egypt, what happened? They were in the wilderness 40 years. One year they took to come to Mount Sinai. Then 40 years they wandered in the wilderness. Then they came to the promised land. They conquered the promised land. See, this entire thing took 46 years. Next, once they came to the promised land, they, God gave them judges. Sir. That was for a period of 50 years. Sir. Then they demanded kings from King Saul to Zedekiah was a period of 513 years. And after the last king was there, they were taking 70 years captivity to Babylon. Daniel and all, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, they were all in Babylon now. You see, that was for 70 years. So, Cyrus king, he recognized God's hand in uh, his, uh, you see, defeat of Babylon. And he gave the liberty to the people of Israel to go to Jerusalem and build God's house. And that degree was given in 536 AD. That means from there to AD 1 is 536 years. So total, if you calculate all these things, brother, the first period is 1056 years, second period 427 years, third period 430 years, fourth period 46 years, fifth 450, sixth 513, seventh 70 years, eighth is 536. So totally if you calculate, We'll get a period of 4,128 years from the creation of Adam till AD 1. You see, now we all know God's beautiful plan. Now God's beautiful plan is composed of uh, 6,000 years plus 1,000 years. Correct, now we have seen from the beginning of the class. Uh, you see, God, uh, uh, that uh, 6,000 plus 1,000 years. 6,000 years is permitted evil in this world. In the last thousand years, Jesus is going to rule on this world. So in this world, in this period of 6,000 years, we already calculated 4,128. And based on the Bible chronology. So how much is left over, brother? From 6,000, if you minus 4,128, how much you will get, Mosul, brother? Mm, 6 to uh, 8. 41, right? Uh, well, calculate. Okay, I'll calculate. Hmm. 1872. 
1872. So 1872, 6,000 years ended. Since then, the 1,000 year reign of Christ should start, no? Correct, no? So this is, you see, one of the way to approach second coming date. Okay. Now, we saw 1874, correct, no? Yeah. Here we are saving 1872, correct now? Mm -hmm. Why two years difference? Mm -hmm. Two years difference is there, no? Yeah. Why? Why means two. this uh, 1872 for, or 4,128 years, we calculated from the creation of Adam. But actually we should consider from the fall of Adam. Okay, now you tell me, when was Adam created? Adam was created on the sixth day or the seventh day? Sixth day. Very good. Adam was created on the sixth day, not on the seventh day. Seventh day began when Adam sinned. So Adam must have lived on the sixth day for two years. Is the proof in the Bible? Yes. Adam lived in Garden of Eden. You see, without sin, for a period of two years. God created him in the sixth day. You know that verse. We can note it down. Genesis 1, 26 or 31. Now, how two years? You tell me. First thing. What did Adam do in Garden of Eden? Who was first created? Adam or Eve? Adam. When was Eve created? Mm. Eve was created after Adam on the same day, maybe. On the same day. Aha, very good. Let us read Genesis 2, brother. Genesis 2. Yeah. Genesis verse, 2, verse? Mm, verse 18. Verse 18, 19. In the Lord, mm. in the Lord God said, it is not good that the man should be alone. I'll make him and help meet for him. <laughs> hmm. And out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every full of the year and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. Hmm. And Adam gave Named to all cattle, and to the fowl of the year, and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found an helpmate for him. Ah, and the Lord. Wait, 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 wait. First, God created Adam. Okay. Yeah. Then Adam was given a job. What was his work? He was supposed to name all the cattle. Ah, all the animals. In the end, it says. But there was no helpmate found for him. Ah, now how did uh, this come suddenly? Now God knew, no, before only he could have created. Now why did he not create? Uh? Then what? After is seeing, uh, correct. After yeah. seeing the cattle, maybe cattle. Correct, uh, correct, brother. See, when he would have named all the animals, how he would have named? You would have named based on the character, behavior, physical features. Correct, no? Yeah. You would have observed all the animals are pairs. Huh? Male, female, male, female, male, female. They're having family, everything. Correct, no? Yeah. But for him, who is not there? His helpmate was on there. Ah, that feeling God would have created in Adam. The desire. Uh huh. Now, to name all the animals, Adam took one year. How can you tell whether one year? Because in one year, all the seasons are there. In what in seasons, what will happen? Different, different animals in different seasons. Seasons will come. So, Adam would have absorbed all the behavior of all the animals in all the seasons. Based on that one, you would have named everybody. Lion. You know, you, you're a science student or a commerce student? Commerce student. Oh, oh, did you go to school? See, in the school, in yeah. biology, there is a name for each and every animal, plant, species that is called as binomenclature. Biological name is given for everybody. You know that one? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Now, what is the biological name for uh, uh, human beings? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Name you forgot. I had to study. forgot your name. <laughs> oh, very bad. Uh, Homo sapiens. <laughs> yeah, Homo sapiens. Uh, okay, good. What is the name for, uh, scientific name for mango? Oh. <laughs> you know, don't know about myself, brother. Oh, very well, uh, for mango. <laughs> uh, huh? You know, what is the scientific name for mango? Magnifera indica. What? Yeah, Magnifera indica. Not Tata indica. <laughs> Huh. See, that is a scientific name. See, each and every animal plant is given a scientific name. You know how it is given? It is based on the character, brother. We have studied in the school, no? Huh? If you don't remember, yeah. go to school and come on. <laughs> mm, yeah. Based on that one only, Adam would have named everybody. Studied everything. Oh, giraffe, yeah? Oh, neck is so lengthy. Oh, oh, this should be given giraffe. Everything is there, brother. So this took one year, brother. Okay, brother? Yes, brother. Now, second year, CV was created. Then after creation of CV, what has happened? They are still in Eden. Huh? Correct, no? Yeah. Read. They ate. Uh, now, what did they do in Eden? They ate. Huh? They ate? Ate, um, the fruit of the provident fruit. They ate one year. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> see, let us see. What did they do? Deuteronomy 24 chapter 5th verse. Deuteronomy 24 5. When a man had taken a new wife, he shall not go out to war, neither shall he be charged with any business, but he shall be free at home one year huh? and shall. Uh, and shall and shall cheer of his wife which uh -huh. he had taken uh -huh. so manage if, if somebody marries in Israel how many days leave mm, one year is it one... before Adam time uh, is, it, is it on Adam time this is given in the law if God has given in the law surely God would have implemented in Garden of Eden also this is the law uh -huh. of the Lord correct over there Yes, brother. So we'll get married in better you get married in Israel. We come there. We'll get one year leave. <laughs> yeah. So see, if God has given in the law, then surely God would have implemented this one for he Adam also. So one year they would have been together in Garden of Eden. So two years in Eden without sin. Got it, brother? Yeah, brother. Uh, now we saw 4128 from the creation of Adam till 81. In that one, reduce two years. How much you'll get? 4,126. Got it? Yeah. Now this 4,126, you see, if you deduction from 6,000, you'll get 1874. Got it? Yes, brother. So, 1874 is the year our Lord returned the second advent. Clear, brother? Mm, yeah. Okay. So, Apart from this one, there are, uh, you see, still uh, uh, more prophecies, which uh, I think will be, is better that. Uh, uh, okay, let us study this one and see. Okay, you're free for five more minutes? Yeah, okay, brother. Okay, see, uh, we have studied this prophecy, but as Jesus said somewhere about his second coming, yes, Jesus has given us a clue about his second coming in a vague way. Where, see, we all know in a week, how many days are there, brother? Seven days. Seven days. Okay. Six days you should work. Seventh day you should? Uh, give rest. it to God. Correct. Very good. So, similarly, in God's creation, huh? you should have read in the Bible, last day, last day, last day, it will come. Correct now? Yeah. Many times last day you would have read in the Bible. What is this last day? This is in the 7,000 years. You see? In the 7,000 years. You see? That can be divided into 7 days of each 1,000 years. Cut it, uh, brother? Yeah. yeah. 6,000 ah. plus 1,000. Yes, brother. 6,000 plus 1,000. So 6,000 years for sin. 
seventh mm. thousand years for the Lord. That is the reason Jesus said, "In the last day, the resurrection shall happen." Read those verses, brother. John six forty four. John six forty four. No man can come to me except the Father who is has sent me down him, and I will raise him up at the last day. Last day, which is his last day? That is seven thousand years. After six thousand years, we'll get on thousand years. So that is the seventh thousand year where Jesus will return and rule. So Jesus will raise the church in the resurrection in the last last day. Read John eleven twenty four over there. Martha said unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection of resurrection at the last day. Last day. See, resurrection when it happen. Last day. Last day. The thousand year rule of Christ. That is the period. We know now. When everybody will, dead will come back. Last day. Second advent. Thousand years. Same thing. Read John 12, 48 with her. That reject me and receive not my words, and one that judge him, the word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. Ah, last day judgment, thousand years day of judgment, same period. So we all know one day for the Lord is how many years to the one thousand years. Yes, last day means what? Uh, thousand years. He is speaking about his thousand years. Uh, when he is going to rule. Okay. Now, this uh, 7,000 can be divided into a period of uh, 1,000 years each. So, this one, you keep it in mind. Now, let us read huh? one verse. See, this one, as you told you, 7,000 can be divided into 6,000 plus 1,000. Correct, brother? Yeah. Okay. Now, read John 2.19. Carefully, you read it, brother. You will tell me what is the meaning of this one. John 2.19. Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Ah, ah. What did Jesus say? Destroy this temple. In how many days I will raise it? Three days. Three thousand years. Correct. Next, continue. But he spoke of the temple of his body. Ah, he spoke about the temple of his body. Who is the temple of his body? Uh, Temple of his body. Who is his body? We we people. We, very good. The church. Very good. So Jesus is saying, you destroy the church. Huh? In the third day, I will raise it up in spot. I will show you. See, when Jesus came at the first advent, brother. Huh? He came 4,128 years since the creation of Adam. Okay, since the creation yeah. of Adam. See, since the creation of Adam, he came in 4,128 years. Correct? Huh? Yeah, brother. So, it was in the fifth thousand year. In yeah. this period. Correct? Huh? Yeah. Okay. And this was the first day for Jesus. Yeah. From the first advent, that was the first day. Now, what Jesus is saying you destroyed the temple. In how many days will raise it? I'll uh, raise it up. Mm, third day. Three. Correct? Uh, third. Third. Yeah. Correct now? Third day, no? Yeah. So from the first advent, first day. From the first advent, the second day. From the first advent, the third day is our Lord's thousand year day. Got it, brother? Yeah, brother. See, I'll explain again to you. See, from the first advent of Jesus, you see, three days. The 2000 mm -hmm. years and the third day. Third day is his second advent. So Jesus is saying, he will raise the church when? In the third day. That is his last day. The seventh 
thousand year period. Okay, let us read one more verse. Luke 13, 32, brother. See, these are all the clue which Jesus gave about uh, his second advent, when he is going to return. Read John, sorry, Luke 13, 32. Luke 13, 32. Ah, okay, well, Luke 13, 32 is written like this. Uh, and he said unto them, Go you and tell the fox, behold, I cast out devils and I do course to days and tomorrow and the third day I shall be perfect. See, the same perfected. thing. Perfect. Huh? Today and tomorrow I will cast out the devils. Means what? Uh, for 2,000 two years, uh, the devils, uh, that means the evil spirit from the church is being taken out. And the third day, the body of Christ shall be perfect. I shall be perfected in when? Third day. Got it, brother? Yeah, brother. So, approximately is telling when his second advent will happen. Mm -hmm. Read Hosea 6 chapter 1, 2 and 3, brother. Mm -hmm. Or see or six people. Mm. Come and let us return unto the Lord, for He hath turned and He will heal us. He hath stemmed and He will bind us up. After two days will He receive us. In the third days He will raise us up, and we shall live in the sight. Then okay. shall we know if we know if we follow on to know the Lord? Ah, this is bring about is prepared. Uh, ah, this is bring about Israel. Yeah. Israel was punished for two days. He has torn up, he has trodden down Israel. But in the third day, we will live in his presence. It is since 1874 that Israel has started to got independence. We will study in the next class brother, about Israel. Today, what all yeah. things are happening, all things are prophecy of the Bible. We'll read in the next class. Okay, brother? Okay, brother. The same C clue. One more clue is there. You know, read Luke 12 chapter. Luke 12. Verse? Uh, one minute. Luke 12 chapter verse is 38. Uh, one minute, one minute. 37 and 38. 37, 38. Brother, huh? blessed, blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he come, shall find watching. Really, I said unto you that he shall greet himself and make them to sit down to meet and will come forth and serve them. Ah, see, and this he... is speaking about Lord's coming. Correct, brother? Yeah. Now, when will the master return? Read verse 38. And if he shall come in the second watch, or come in the third watch and find them so blessed are those servants. Ah, which watch? Second, second and third or? watch. Ah, second or third watch. What is the meaning of watch in the Bible? Uh, watch means thousand years. The coming. No, no, no. Watch means a thousand years in the Bible. See, read Psalms 90, 90, verse 4. Psalms 90, verse 4. Okay, hmm. but... Uh, Psalms 90 verse 4 is written like this. For a thousand years in this side are but as yesterday when it is past and as a watch in the night. Aha! Underline it. Yeah. Watch in the Bible means how many years? A thousand years. So Jesus said I'll come in the second or third watch means what? Exactly he did not know because he did not die on the cross. He has improved hmm. faithfulness but he knew approximately when he is going to come. Second or third we will tell now, when I'm going to come, I might come today or tomorrow. Not so sure. That is the way. You know, huh? what did the disciples ask? Lord, when you will return, what did Jesus say? Read Revelation 22, 12. Revelation 22, 12, brother. Yeah, okay, brother. 
and behold, I came quickly, and my rewards is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. What did Jesus say? Behold, I come quickly. Coming after 2000 years quickly. Yeah. Mm. Huh? yeah. If, if I tell to you, I'll come tomorrow, today and tomorrow, then if I come after 2000 years, quick. is it quick or is it slow? Maybe the reward is now he's giving to the person because he already he came on 1872. Ah, correct. For us, it is 2,000 years. But for Jesus, it is how many days? Uh, second day. That's all two days. Uh, if your yeah. parents are going outside, the child will start crying in the house. What did the father say? Oh, don't worry, son. I'll come very soon. One or two days, I'll come. Same way Jesus said. Don't worry. I come very quickly. He came very soon. It is just in two days he returned. But for Christians... For us, it is 2,000 years. They don't read the Bible. They don't study the Bible. They can't even understand anything. Because their eyes are totally blinded. Got it, brother? Yeah, brother. This is how we study the Bible. Hear a little. Hear a little. Search the scriptures. Got it, brother? Yeah, brother. Apart from this one, there are other two Greek words. One is Epiphania. Other is Apocalypse. Epiphania means... The word epiphany means bright shining. Read 2 Thessalonians 2 8, brother. Second season two eight. Yeah, brother, I'm on the way. Uh, and then self the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord self consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. See? Brightness of his coming. The brightness. The coming word is parosia. You can go and search it in Google. You see? Concordance. It's parosia, epiphania. That means he is going to be in Parosia, but it will be a stage where he will, he will shine brightly. Now we are living in Epiphania. We are no more in Parosia. We are living in Epiphania. Brightly we can see that Lord is doing all these activities. Brightly we can see the truth is going very far. Brightly we can see that in short, very, very short, Israel the kingdom of God shall be established. Very soon, you see, the preparations are happening. This is the bright shining. And the last stage, when the whole world will realize, that is apocalypse. You know, the word apocalypse means revealed. That means the thing was already there. It was hidden. But now it is completely come to reveal. The book of Revelation is called as apocalypse. You go and search it in your uh, it's a concordance or any uh, Greek uh, Bible, you will find apocalypse of Jesus. We call it revelation, no? It's called it's apocalypse. Where is it given? Read Luke 17, chapter 28, 29, 30. Likewise, also it was in the days of Lot, Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bowed, they sold, they planted, they built it, but the same day, the Lord went out of Sodom. It rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even those shall it be in the day where the Son of Man is revealed. Revealed. Not coming. Revealed. That means what? All his presence will be there. But the whole world will realize that it is done by our Lord. When? As it was this in the days of Lot. See, Lot was in Sodom and Gomorrah. How much warning the angels gave? He never came back. Ultimately, the angels had to pull him out. When he was coming, you see, his wife turned back and saw. That is the time. You see, the fire came from heaven and destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. 
Angels want to the people of Sodomites. They did not realize that. Once they, you see, fire came, then only they began to realize. Similarly, the whole world, the, the God's children are warning that uh, soon this world will end. But nobody will give heed. They are all enjoying their life. When will they realize? Once the church is taken off, the destruction will come upon this world. Then they will realize, oh, oh it is very late. Already people like Lord, they won't know. That is the time the world will realize the rise of understanding will be opened. Okay, brother, got it, brother? Yeah, brother. On the yeah. reveal, uh, when he will be revealed, uh, on the time, does everybody can see by their naked eyes? No, no, no. Nobody can see in the naked eyes forever and ever. Nobody can see. Even the spiritual body, they can't see. But they will realize, oh. they will recognize, understand. See, oh, okay, okay. can we say, can we see Satan today? No. But still Satan is ruling this world now? Yeah. Then if Satan himself can rule invisibly, how mightily our Lord can rule? Yeah. Correct, no? How mightily our Lord can be revealed, you see, without making him visible to everybody. Everybody will understand, okay. brother. See, you go and ask anybody. Today, everybody will tell this world is a wicked world. Correct or not? Yeah, yeah. See, as Satan manifested himself to everybody, oh, come, come, this is my world. Has he told mm -hmm. to anybody? Yeah. No. Everybody knows, but still, everybody knows this is the Satan's world. Similarly, it will be in Christ's kingdom, brother. When everything will be peaceful, all the dead will come back to life. All their eyes will be opened. All their ears will be opened. The lame, all the health will be restored. And the age will run backwards. They will all realize that this is none other than Christ, brother. He will make them realize. Yeah, brother. Okay? We have studied about this thousand years now. What all blessings will come in the thousand years? The dead will come back. You see? Health will be restored. There won't be police station. There won't be war. When all these things are there, definitely people understand that this is done by God. Okay, brother? Okay, brother. Okay. Now, uh, two points are there. We won't cover this one. We'll be covering next week. Because if Jesus has returned, then the rapture should happen. Correct, no? Yeah. So, what about the rapture? We will be going to sleep. see this rapture next week. Okay? But before coming next week, you need to study where the word rapture comes in the Bible and tell me. Okay, brother? Okay, brother. Okay. So, will you tell me next week? Okay. Okay. Sure. Okay, then. Okay. So, Lord bless. So, if you have any doubts, any questions, you can ask. Any doubts, any questions? No, brother. Okay. You are clear? Yeah. So I'll be sending the notes. Please go through the notes of the incoming. So any doubts you can ask. Ashish brother also there. He will help you out. Okay brother. Okay.